Hey team, it's Monday the, oh, let me have a look, 25th of September. I forgot what month I was in then. Had a haircut. It's my day off today, so I can do everything that I should have done two weeks ago. I've also made a Slimming World quiche, which I had for lunch, which has not much left off, but I'll eat some of that tomorrow, probably. And then I've also made a fish pie, which we're going to have later on. You won't be able to see it properly because it's covered and done, but just salmon and tuna. That's good. We're going to go out for a run in a bit. That is today. That's what I've done so far. And, uh... Em was at work this morning, but has returned. Anyway, we're on the last Harry Potter. Oh, sad times. <laughs> how, how... The last vlog you saw, we were on the first one, and we're already on the last one. <laughs> what does that tell you, team? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you make up your mind. All right, see you after our run. We are ready, we are going running. The man or two men have just come and given us quotes for a new bathroom window, they were both lovely, and so that is now sorted, and we are going for a run. Quickly, before we go, because as is the most important part of any run, is what you wear on said run. So I have got new running trousers. That, well, I think they're called running tights, running leggings, I don't, don't really know. So just thought I'd share these with you. I'm a little bit sad because they're a size small medium. You could either buy small slash medium or medium slash large. And I was like, well, I'm defo not medium slash large. So I ordered small slash medium. Turns out I was medium slash large. Um, no. Which is very sad, very, very sad. They but fit. They, do, they, they don't, mm, they fit, they do fit. It's, I've got quite big thighs for the proportion of the rest of my body. So, it's okay, I'm running, so my thighs will get smaller, right? No. Excellent. Um, good morning, it's now Tuesday, and um, this is what I've come down to. Uh, I mean, that blind should be in the window. <laughs> um, cool, okay, let's try and fix that. Great, excellent. everybody it is ooh, what day is it Wednesday it's Wednesday the 27th I'm poorly and I don't admit that lightly but I am dressed I'm going to work can't be that poorly I'm just like really congested here and like my eyes just feel really heavy just runny nose lots and then M's got a really sore throat and was feeling a bit sick in the night so neither is us neither of us slept very well last night in fact I was down here for well, till about 3 a.m. Had tablets, dosed up, just feel like, don't know, a bit iffy. Not the worst I've ever felt, but I'm gonna try and power on this morning and then probably try and rest because I've got a really busy day tomorrow and I don't really want to miss it because we've been planning it for months. We'll see what happens. Em's got all of her work stuff ready, so she's gonna be doing some learning journey so every time a pupil's in a nursery they have to do like a journal of their progress so Emma's got that but yeah, that's the sort of plan for today nothing really amazing happening um, but just normal life and um, trying not to feel rubbish put on a smile and carry on good morning it is now Wednesday morning we've not done very well at vlogging this week at all um, but the reason for that is we're both a bit under the weather. So Ben, Ben got ill. Well, we kind of both got ill at the same time. Ben's like full of this horrible cold and he's had a headache for like four days and he's not sleeping very well, but he's really tired. And he keeps going, we, keep, we both keep going like hot and cold. Um, and then I've had like a really sore throat for like the past three days. And I've like, I'm all bunged up this morning. I've got earache. Um, I'm just really like, I just can't, I keep falling asleep like, um, I think I'm just really drained um, and my body's like because it's ill it's trying to sleep to get better as you will all know I had tonsillitis um, really bad a few weeks ago it was so bad it was probably longer than that now but I still feel traumatized by the whole thing and so like I'm really like freaking out like I'm gonna have tonsillitis again um, but 
we're like checking my tonsils like every three hours and so far nothing so hopefully it's just a horrible like cold um, but flipping sod's law that i've got ill like i go back to uni tomorrow um after like the longest summer known to man i've been like really looking forward to going back which i know is really lame <laughs> but i've really missed it it'll be really nice to have like something to do again and stuff um but now typically i'm ill and as you can see, I'm not even dressed. I can't even be bothered to get dressed. Like I just don't feel well enough. I've got quite a lot of stuff to do, but it's all like from sitting. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull like the sofa cushion down onto the floor there. And then I've got a learning journey to do and um, uni stuff to get ready. And I'm gonna catch up. I need to watch, I say need, like it's a life and death situation, it's not. Um, I'm halfway through the Bake Off because I didn't make it to the end last night because I went to bed. Um, and I haven't seen this week's Do Dr. Foster or this week's Liar. So I'm going to watch those three and then probably have a snooze. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Benji is home. I'm glad to be home. We go on to chill out now. Bought night nurse, so hopefully I can sleep tonight. I wish Chris was here. I think we're gonna pass out. We get out that. <laughs> Nothing more to say. Nothing more to say. Benji. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I feel like I should let some daylight in. Ben has awoken, didn't he just look adorable? Definitely did vlog you sleeping. Love you. <laughs> Ben's woken up. Um, I'm just gonna make him a hot ribena because who doesn't like hot ribena when they're poorly sick? And then um, as it's 10 past four, I should probably get my bag ready for uni. Quick rundown. I take my Mac with me to every lecture. I have my folder, which I got from Sainsbury's this year, which is super cute. Um, and then, oh, you can tell it's new. In it, I have a refill pad so that I always have plenty of paper. I have dividers that are divided into every single one of my modules for the whole year. I don't know if I'll end up uh, having to have a second folder for second semester, um, but I put them all in one just for now and I'll see how much paper I build up. To match my folder, I have these super adorable sticky notes that were from the same um, collection in Sainsbury's and yeah I just really like them I didn't really need any more post-it notes in all honesty but they're really pretty I always take my power pack and my cable um, just in case uh, that's more of an anxiety thing I don't like being away um, and not being able to contact Ben or anyone if uh, needed I have a plethora of blue biros I write in blue not black um, and I don't know why I just don't like my writing in black I have three um, cheesy pens that say Emily that were in my stocking last Christmas, a few highlighters, a few random pens from like conferences and stuff that I've been to and some coloured pens if I want to like underline or write in a different colour. There's a definite pink purple theme <laughs> going on there. Um, yeah and then I have a bag there that is oh so old, embarrassingly old, um, just from Primark but it fits my A4 folder in as well as my laptop so can't really go wrong with that. Um, yeah, that's really practical. So that's pretty much what I'm taking. Hi team, it is getting late. It is 7.05 p.m. Oh. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, I had a snooze earlier, as I'm sure you saw. And yeah, feeling okay. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon. Sorry, we've not necessarily been on top form, but hey, we promised to show you all of our uh, life. Good and bad. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad, you're right. <laughs> Alright, 
Bye See you, team. team. Bye. Bye now. Excellent angle. <laughs>